Welcome to a new DIY Engineers video. This video continues the series of OpenCV with Raspberry Pi. Make sure to check the previous video if you have any questions on how to get started. This video will cover how to open and access images to then be used for OpenCV. This includes existing files and Raspberry Pi camera, and as well it will be videos and pictures. So let's start with the first option, using existing files. So the last video we left it inside the virtual environment we had created. Before we continue, go to your directory and create a folder called Projects, and then create a subfolder called CV Tutorial. So Go here, I created one called projects, you can just right click and make new folder. And then right click new folder, call it CV tutorial. So once created, make sure to go CD projects slash CV underscore tutorial. So now I'm inside that folder, let me expand this a bit. Now let's go ahead and start with the first example. So first within that folder that we just created, create two folders, one called IMGS, the other one called vid. For the IMGS one, I went ahead and downloaded an image of a flower. And for the video, I downloaded a video of another flower. To do that, I'll show you exactly which ones I got. For the free image, I went to Pixabay. So you can just click it and download for free. And then for the video, I went to Pexels and downloading this free video from Diego da Silva. You can do a free download as well. So we'll be using both of those. So then in the tutorial folder, I have several Python files. These are the examples that we're gonna be working through. Let's just delete them and I'll do them from scratch. So we'll do new file and just do v1r1.py. That'll be video one revision one. So this is the first video in which we're doing specific Python codes for this OpenCV. So that's why we're calling it V1. And then R1 is just for the first example we're going to be working on. So click OK, right click it and open it with Genie. That puts us in the code. Now one thing to note when I downloaded the images and videos, the image I call it IMG underscore one and the video I call it vid underscore one. So now with that, I'll get out of there and we can go to our Python code. So this one, we'll start with import CV2. That allows us to use OpenCV. Then in the next row, we'll say IMG equals CV2.IMREAD. This is basically loads the image from the specified file. In this case, we already went to the folder, right? We are in the tutorials folder. So we just need to specify the subfolder. So we'll say open quotations, IMGS slash, and then the file name, which is IMG underscore one dot JPEG quotation marks and close parentheses then we'll do cv2 dot i am show in this case we'll call the window output close quotations comma and then img is the file that is being fed into the i am show which basically is going to display the image the input is img and the window as i said is going to be output and then we'll do cv2 dot wait key zero and this is just going to display the image for a number of milliseconds. In this case, I'm saying zero. When you put zero, basically it waits for you to press something on the keyboard to stop. So we'll go ahead and save this. Now we'll go to our command terminal and we'll run it. So we'll do Python v1r1.py. And there you can see, it basically ran the picture of, and this displaying the picture of the flower. And if I press something on the keyboard, it closes it. So now let's do example two. So I'll for now just go file, save as call this v1 or 2 so we keep the import cv now in this case instead of an image we're going to have a video so i'll say cap equals cv2 dot video capture open parentheses start the quotations and i'll put the folder this was the vid folder slash vid underscore one dot mp4 close quotations close parentheses now i'm not going to be using the image file so i'm just going to delete that Next, I need a while loop, so I'll do while true. And then we say success, comma, img equals cap dot read. So, so in this case, success will give me an output of true or false. True is if it read a frame correctly and false if it didn't. And the image will actually contain the image from that frame that is being processed from the video. So now if success equals true, then we want to run cv2 i am show else break it's meaning there's no more frames to be processed just exit out we'll also want to add if cv2 wait key open parentheses 34 and i'll tell you where that came from and 0 x double f equals over d q then break 
All right, so what this is doing is that it's gonna wait to display the next frame at least 34 milliseconds. Now, if I go to the video, you can see here under more info that the video has 29 frames per second. So for me to show this properly, I basically need to show one frame divided by 29 and that much in seconds. So frames per second, one divided by 29 is 0.0345, let's call it 34 milliseconds. This defines the number of milliseconds. So when I specify like this, the video will run at the frame rate that it's supposed to. So now let's go ahead and run that. I'll just change this to a two. And I will run the whole duration and then once the video is over it will end. If I run it again, I can also press Q and exit out of that. All right, so let's go ahead and start the third example, which is taking a picture using the Raspberry Pi camera. So in a previous video, I showed you how to set up the Raspberry Pi camera on a Raspberry Pi. Make sure to take a look at that video if you need more details on that. So the code for displaying the Raspberry Pi camera will be very similar to the one on the first example, except the source of the image will go from being an existing file to being the camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that first Python code. I'll close the second one and I'm going to go ahead and save it as R3. Okay. I already went over what this code did. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding the modifications. So we still have to import CV, but we need to add from Pi camera to import Pi camera to. This is needed to run the Pi camera. Uh, I'll import time because we're gonna have to add a time delay to allow the camera to start up. Then we'll do PyCam2 equals PyCamera2. This defines the camera. Then we're gonna start setting up the configuration. So we'll do PyCam2.configure, open parentheses, PyCam2.create, underscore preview, underscore configuration, open parentheses, I'll say raw, squiggly bracket, size, close quotations, then this is defined, finding the resolution of the incoming feed, and then the main uh, resolution of the format we're going to be processing with CV, we'll say main equals, and the squiggly format, we want the format or the color, we're going to be saying it's RGB, and we have to define it with 3 8, and then we'll say size, We'll pick a smaller size so that we don't take as much processing power once we start doing stuff with our camera. Now after that we'll do pycam2.start and then time.sleep2. That will allow us to sleep for two seconds to allow the camera to start up. We'll define the image but it will not be from this file. So image will be pycam2.capture underscore array. This will stay the same and this will stay the same. And then after that, we need to do pycam2 dot stop, stop the pi camera and then we'll close it. All right, so save that and let's run the code. So same thing, run it as three. Looks like I have an error. Let me see, missing quotations here. I'm missing the equal right after raw. Let's run it now. All right, that's the picture. I'll redo it. I was setting up something as a test. If I press Q, it'll exit out. Let me move the image and test it again. All right, so let's test it again. And there, you can see the image. Now, it's not perfectly focused. I showed you in a previous video that you can actually use the focus tool to refocus the lens to the right depth as you wish. Anyways, I'll press Q and we'll move on. Now we'll go to the fourth example, which is taking live video. Now this will be a combination of the second example and the third example. So we pretty much have most of what we need. Uh, after the sleep, we'll say while true, 
So we can dead continuous loop, right? We'll have capture array command. I have this one. We'll have this. We'll change this to one because we'll want to at least have some delay between iterations of the while loop. In this case, one millisecond. You can change it to something a little bit larger if needed, but that will be like the minimum. And then I'll add and zero x double capital F equals ORD Q. So, and then of course, sorry, this will be an if statement. So if that's true, then break meaning it'll run the while loop until that condition is met. And then we'll have the PyCam stop and close. So now let's go ahead and run that. And we'll save this as the video for. Okay. And we have live video and you can see. I'll get a sheet of paper and write something and we'll see how we can read it. Looks like I need to refocus my lens. Anyways, to exit out, you press Q. So that's it. This concludes this video. There will be more coming. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.